Hey guys, it's Techie here, and um, well, long and short, we're not going to be able to stream this coming Sunday, so we thought rather than skip it and stream on another day, what we do is we have this video prepared in advance, and well, hope it does alright, I guess, um, <laughs> Manda positive! Well, yes, yes, I know, it's just, it, this is kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, so, let's see how we go. Here is Bone out of Boneville. One of the early Telltale Games games. Game, game. Game, the game, game, game. Well, the company is called Telltale Games, so it's a Telltale game yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, When the and there was a face. And dreams had not yet receded from the waking day. Dragons ruled the earth. The first dragon was a queen named Mim, and she was the keeper of all who dreamed. Mim circled the world mm. and held her tail in her mouth. As long as Queen Mim That's held her tail good. this way, there would be a balance between life and Well, death. it's meant to reflect and the Ouroboros, the snake that the eats itself. Flourish. Where is the beginning and where is she the end? She those who dreamed with care. Huh. And all living creatures live together the in peace and harmony. Until Indeed. one day, a spirit known only as the Lord of the Locust became unhappy. The Locust was a nightmare being without shape or form, who could exist only in the spirit world. To enter this world, he would have to take possession of a mortal's flesh. The Locust chose the most powerful mortal of all, Mim, Queen of Dragons. When the Locust entered her mind, the Queen went mad. Balance was lost, and the world grew dark. The dream had become a nightmare. To save the world, the other dragons confronted her, and a terrible battle ensued. As the dragons fought, they crashed back and forth, pushing up mountains and carving out valleys. They knew it would be the end of their beloved men, but for the good of the world, and to destroy the true enemy, they turned their queen into stone, trapping the lord of the locust inside of her until the end of time. Later, as the land cooled, the valley was born. But never again would the world be perfect, for the locust lies hidden just below the surface. Filled with bitterness, the locust bends the minds of people to his will, and always he creates suffering. Down through the ages, many have tried to kill the locust and free the queen, but all have failed, and the land remains in darkness and fear, waiting for the day a hero will come and save them. <laughs> Oh god, it's gonna be us, isn't it? What is? What? Heroes? The hero. Heroes? Yeah. Heroes! Yeah. I have no idea what the backstory was all about. Oh, it's about the, how the world was made and blah blah blah. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain, round the mountain when she comes. Am I gonna have to what the heck, heck is hey, that? That's a bone. No. Two weeks ago, and he's still moping around. Oh well, I guess you can whine. Oh my God! Guy in the whole town. Ah! Oops. Silly me. Ex riches. They can't do this to me. You can't do anything to a rich person that he doesn't want. Oh, a couple of shady business deals went sour. Is that any reason to run the most beloved bone in Boneville out on a rail? Yes. <laughs> the mayor that one's naked. Holiday just so the kids could come and throw rocks at you. Oh, bad news, Bone. We're out of water. That's it. That's the last straw. Don't get mad at Smiley Bone. This mess isn't his fault. That's right. The townspeople aren't mad at us. They ran you out of town because you're a selfish little greed bag. I can't believe this. But... I'm going to die out here. Hey, Bone, where are we? Get us out of here. I can't. We're off the map. I think we're lost. Okay. We're all doomed! Help most of you tips on how to play the game by clicking the question mark in the lower right. Okay. Da -da -da. Sorry. Alright, let's screen. To turn off help mode, click the scroll icon, then click options. Do you want to leave help mode on? Yeah, sure. Uh, what the? Because you need all the help you can get. Left click to see the cursor phone will try and use the object sometimes, so Okay. I think it's some kind of old paper. 
get stuck. What you doing, Bone Bone? Welcome to the tutorial. Hearing the clock and heat is back. I'm trying to get this thing out from under this Bone. Bone. What is it? I'll tell you after I get it out. Oh, let me know if it's a piece of pie. I love a piece of pie right now. Uh huh. Mm, Just stand up, stand up will you? Sure thing, cuz. Let me help you with that. Huh. Looks like it's some kind of map. A map? I'm saved! Give it here! Give me a dollar first. Wow. <laughs> Give me a dollar. Oh. I see, so I can actually switch between the two characters. Cool, next. Lost in the desert. Give him a dollar. What does being lost in the desert have to do with anything? I'm not giving up what I have left for that caterwauling hobo. <laughs> caterwauling hobo? Do you really hate Smiley's music so much? What are you, crazy? How can you stand it? At least he's over that old gray mare phase. How about the old gray mare? <laughs> My favorite. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be, 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 ain't what she used what is this? This map looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old. It's worthless. Excuse it's worth me. I worked really hard That's on that it. map. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, Jetstream. He, look, he just doesn't appreciate. Smiley, what's that noise? Modern art. No, no people. Just focus. Really neat, huh? Ah! Right. Okay. What, what the? the f Left focus, and right to move from. Okay, left click to jump over obstacles. Okay. We're all gonna die. Oh crap, I clicked out of the game. Oh, I hate this. I think You're our friends are there? doomed. Yeah, probably. Don't Where care. Where <laughs> come from? You guys still there? Smiley bone. No! Uh, I was meant to do that! Run, Turkey! Run! 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 Save me! No! Ah! They're catching up! Try harder! I'm trying as hard as I can! Our friends are doomed! Doomed! <laughs> yeah, problem is I'm playing in windowed mode and sometimes my mouse will go outside of the window, so I'm... Problem is it doesn't tell me it goes outside the window until it's too late and I click and oh no. Ah, I think I made it. And we died anyway. Great. The end. What a great story. Really engaging. Well, the short game, but you know. Is it the, yeah. is it the one we see? What the? This is not the one. He doesn't bear the star. Uh, kill him anyway. What the ah. fuck? Who's gonna be your son? I'm scared. And what a oddly friendly looking dragon. bunny dragon. Bunny dragon! Oh, uh, it's Falcor's cousin. Oh, right, luck dragon. As usual, I suppose it's up to me to save them and get us all back home to Boneville. It's really Just weird this eyebrow thingy like come so, into existence and then disappears again. It is an old one. It's an old game, and well, let's face it, it was based on a two D cartoon that, well, a two D comic that's kind of just Hello. yeah. Hello. Tap -tap 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 oh, look, there's a lighty thing. 
This is one of I'm making this walking stuff. sound effect. If I can find more of these, maybe oh. they'll lead me to Smiley. Ah, that's right. Smiley's a smoker. Go on, jump. Yay. Food. We need These you. car butts smell pretty bad. Yep. It's probably important that I pick up every single one. Yep. You can't progress the story until you pick up every single thingy magic, whatever they were. <laughs> Would be so funny if you like meet a character at the end and it's like I wish my Well you didn't pick up all the all the cigar stubs, so we're gonna punish you for littering. <laughs> and it's like, but I'm not the one that left them. Doesn't matter! And then he'll jump down, and then he'll fly back up. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. I thought that was part of the background. Oh, well. Well, it's a good thing you explored. Gross. <laughs> we're just the crazy voices in his head. Better than the crazy voices outside of his head. <laughs> At least we want him to stay alive, right? Maybe. You be the voice of reason and I'll be the voice of death. Oh, come on. He's cute. For a bone, I guess so. Well, to be fair, you've only seen three bones and, well, one of them is an arsehole. The other is the hobo. And this one's naked. <laughs> I think him and Max would get along really well. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going the right way. It seems to be the only way I can go. Just you... keep waddling along. Oh, it's lightening Morning, up, so that's a good sign. Yay! Go and jump. Uh, Wee. Wee. Yeah, it looks so Wee. simple in games, but would you ever, you know, think Wee. to leap onto precarious like cliffs? Yeah, sure. Because if I fall, I can just transform into my jet mode. Uh, right. Ooh, play. I'm allowed to be reckless. Hey, it's green Ooh. down there. I made it out of the desert. Looks kind of orange to me, but okay. It's early morning. Early morning. This is certainly before Telltale started doing that weird um black um rim that they would have on characters, and I kind of would love to see it on on this game because. Everything else looks nice. It's just a bit. I don't know how deep that yeah. water was. A bit too CG. Like if you look at Wolf Among Us or sure Walking water is safe to swim or Walking Dead, cause they do the weird 3D hey, thing. They. The heck? Hello. What are you supposed to be? I'm talking to leaf. Bug. Oh, it's the leaf bug. Oh, bug. Well, you look more like a leaf. I did. I'm a bug. I didn't mean any harm. Well, I suppose we're okay. We probably just don't know our ways around here. Guess I won't have to call my big brother out on you. Where am I? This here's our valley. Pretty, huh? It's our valley. We represent the lollipop kids. The lollipop kids. And in the name of the lollipop kids, we like to welcome you to my chicken land. Me, I guess. Ain't seen no one like you before, Mister. Maybe Thorn has seen him. That's that's definitely a Munchkin voice. Oh, definitely. Bug, is he? No, Thorn knows just about everything in the whole world. Wow, can I keep it so I can squish it later? My way around here. No. How am I supposed to find Aww, this? Aw, you're thorn. mean. Uh, You'd forget to squish it and keep it somewhere where it keeps crying out every night. <laughs> Don't worry, as soon as I find it, I'll kill it. Right after this cartoon. Across this river. 
For past the great Easter egg hunt. You guys know an egg is a bug. Yeah, sure. Get your brother to help. He's really gonna be able to help? Oh, sure. You just don't worry about a thing. What's your name? Bone Bone. Okay, Bone. Don't worry. We'll get you across this river in no time. Thanks. I'll wait here for you. It says boy. <laughs> jump in three. Boing! Boing! Little, little, big. Yep. Oh. Um, so what the fuck now? Yeah. Oh, I see. Little, little, big. Oh, I see. So it's... Yeah. That's yeah. gonna be interesting. So it's gonna be little, little, big. Little... Li little big. Yes, I know. More or less on a grid. Too short. Yes, I know. We're doomed. Doomed. Uh, my god. Ah. Oh, this is so hard. It's a freaking bug. Little. Little. Big. Little, little, big, little, little, big, little, little, big, yes! Yay! You did it! At long last! Oh. oh god, there's still more. It only took us five years. How the heck have I been to... Well, I guess little... No! No! You're not... No! Fine. Three. There. Yes! Yay! Oh! Hey, kid. What the? Holy sh- I've been asking to meet you. Um, hi. We'll help you right out. It's a big old dead tree. What's your point? I need you over here. On my way. What the fuck? It's a giant leaf bug. Cool. The bugs made me a bridge. A good guy. Oh, Anima. Anima. Um. Should I? I'll, I'll just say thanks at the very least. Thanks. Uh -huh. um, thanks for the help. If you're a friend of kids, then you're okay by me. Don't eat me, please. <laughs> so Ted's big brother. Kinda yeah, reminds me of a Decepticon. Or you'll find out just how big Big is! Oh, don't worry. It's okay, Big Brother. He seems okay, guy. Alright then. Okay, guy, buddy. Okay, guy. <laughs> okay, okay, buddy. <laughs> you don't remember things real clearly, do you? Just down the path, cross the pile of rocks, and through the possum's clearing. It's not so hard. Okay, be seeing ya. Be seeing ya, Ted. See you around, Bone. Stay out of trouble. Bye. I just finding out how to get to the spring, which I don't remember actually being mentioned. It, it probably was, but I think we were too busy nattering about how cute the um. It's him! Quick, comrade, get off your fat butt and make us a cooking fire. Well, well, <laughs> look who joined us for supper! <sighs> Go start the cooking fire. It's worse because they have big, cute eyes. No, no those no. eyes are cute. And it's not the they look first like. Time you've like spider eyes. You go nowhere, small mammal. We're going to make you into a nice stew. <laughs> but he isn't tasty. He's just a bone. Yeah, he's nothing but skin and bone. He hasn't even got Maybe skin, I right? Just go. You will go nowhere, small mammal. We're going to make you into a nice. You stew. ain't going nowhere. I should really show you Lucas the spider. Huh? Don't worry. What? Keesh. 
What kind of food is that for a monster to eat? The best kind. Healthy. I wouldn't let your friend call you fat. You don't look fat to me. Thank you. There. Good. Can we eat him now, please? Do you really think I'm fat? Comrade, this is not the time for this. If you think Just I'm say fat, no. Just say no. You will go no small, my lord. We're no. Okay. You know, us phones are awfully fattening. Doesn't matter to me at all. Why should it? He's not the one who's fat. Comrade, please. I'm hungry. If you think I'm fat, just say so. Please, comrade. I do not think you're fat. I think I have to wait until they're both and looking away. Always call me fat. Yeah. Just wait. I do not always what, like now? Maybe. Truth. Sometimes it gets a little much. Just let them engage oh, in their fight a little bit. Reasonable. Oh, I, I see. Thinking. This isn't the time. I take it back. You're not fat. Too late. I know your true feelings. I see. When Maybe they're both facing it. Let's just prepare uh. for supper. In a tasty uh. quiche? Quiche? <laughs> Imagine what King Doc would say if he heard you. <laughs> let us please. Just chop him up for the stew. Again with the stew. Yeah, Becky, 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 There seems to be a bit of leniency on it when they turn. There's nothing wrong with stew. Well, I don't remember the last time I had a quiche. <laughs> I'm only trying to protect your reputation. You mean your reputation. Have you no pride? Ah. Oh, uh. <laughs> Monsters do not eat quiche. What do you know about being a real monster? What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. You don't think I'm scary, do you? Oh my I'm god, the gang is a really truly positively blood curdling. Well, I do try my best to keep in shape. Unlike myself, is that what you are um, saying? Um, I'm <laughs> not gonna run away I'm now. Yeah, you I'm one. just waiting for them to turn because. That's not what I meant. Can't we just make him into a keys? <laughs> yes, we got away. Oh god, ha, so that was actually that suspenseful. Although it was funny how the dialogue came to seem to loop on itself. <laughs> Dead. Dead inside. Ah, oh, oh dear. Small mammal. What do you say, comrade? Shall we have a nice hot stew? Or should we eat him raw? Mm. I say give him in a quiche. You know how much I like quiche. It seems to me you boys have a short memory. The dragon. That's right, I'm the Bonnie Dragon. Uh, uh. It's clearly a bunny dragon. Bunny! Um, Mr. Dragon, have you seen my cousins? A short, angry one and a tall, lanky one with a banjo? Yeah. Sorry, kid. Haven't seen them. Way to bring our hoops up and then smash them. Bravo! Creatures. Pretty far south for it. You let him get away. Hmm, what's that? <laughs> they were trying to eat me. If I was a dragon, I would have blasted him with fire. Can't you breathe fire? Um, <laughs> that's right, kid. Never play an ace if a two will do. Oh, I get it. Oh. You let him get away. No, I didn't mean to click that? that. Those things are dangerous. Why'd you let him get away? Never mind. You sure you haven't seen my cousins? Yep. Never mind. Sorry to bother you. Shouldn't He's turned into Macintosh. Or is it what? Big Mac? 
just cross these nice. rocks and through the possum's clear. Yeah. Can't miss it. Uh, right. Thanks. Okay. Um, just. Oh, right. There's more over here. Okay. Move to a new area. Okay. This so far has actually been a bit of, bit of fun, actually. Wait. Like, for an older game, like, this came out in 2007, it's like 11 years old. Mm. Oh, look, possums! Possum! Hey, you're new around ah! here. Ah! Ah, my ear! Oh! I want to keep them forever! Ah! Uh, Who are you? Tucky, I want them! Yeah. Look how they are! Have you seen my cousins around? Are they weird? They're okay. That's not nice. Well, he is. Still not nice. I want to bundle them all up in a big hug and then snuggle them forever. Good thing I have subtitles on. Do you know the way to the hot spring? Sure we do. But we're not telling. And just think. <laughs> Grimlock would be scared of them. Yeah. Want to play a game, Mr. Bone? Uh, well, he's just cat, but apparently he just doesn't like cute things. It scares him. Uh, uh well, okay. <laughs> what do you want to play? What possums play best is dead. How about hide and seek? Dead. How about a story? I don't want a story. I want to play. Play! They're all so cute! Okay, let's play dead. Okay, okay. Let's play dead. Um, so how do we play dead anyway? Just give a roar when you're ready, mister. And make it real scary. Yeah, scary! Roar! Let's go with the big, bold roar. roar! Yeah! Aw, oh, look Yay! here. Yay! <laughs> That's so cute! That was fun! Aww! Can we spring now? Nah, that doesn't count. That game uh... How about hide and seek? Show I'm gonna print screen so I can keep the cute little faces with me forever. I want a plushie of them. <sighs> okay, hide and seek okay, it is. Yeah, hide and seek it is. All right. Maybe I should show you Poppy okay. Opossum. That's a webcomic about a possum. Yeah, but I bet they, it isn't a cute little kitty. Huh, wanna bet? Maybe. One, two, three. Where are those kids? But it's called hide and seek, not hide and find them. Nah. Well, I guess seeking is fine. Well, yeah. The hole in the trunk. <laughs> oh, you are hot, hot, hot. What? That one there? Uh, I'm not sure about that one. But try looking up the tree first. Boo. I thought this was a good Yay! Four more tribes. Are you even Yay! We found one! Yeah! Now look in that hole over there. What, this one? Eee! Cool, 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 cool! Oh, they'll actually tell you if you're getting warm. Okay. Cool, 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 cool! Okay, so let's head... <laughs> Yeah, I, I get it. Okay, let's head back over here. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Let's just check there because it's like, yeah, warm ish. Nothing. Only three more tries. <laughs> oh wait, I think I can check these bushes. Gotcha. <laughs> there, there we go. He was Yay! in the bushes. Oh, two more guesses. <gasps> okay. Got to be so. very careful with the last one. You're so cold it hurts. Well, okay. So cold. Frostbite. Let's head this way. You are the coldest. Right. You're so 
cold it hurts. But I've checked that trunk before. Oh. You're real warm now. Mm. Kind of warm. Gotcha. Oh, oh there we yes! go. Yes! Woo! First try. Have I just tell you guys a story? You a story? Once upon a time, <sighs> there was the cube. The cube did awesome stuff, and there all were three little there possum were three kids. Three little possum kids. <laughs> One day, a wolf gobbled them up, and then they all died. The end. The kids were out collecting grubs and roots for dinner when they met. I don't know, the good, good parent. fairy of the woods who said, <laughs> Raw! If, if you, you do. do all your chores, I'll grant you a wish. So the kids. <laughs> Played a couple of ads with poker. <laughs> okay. Did all their chores as quickly as they could. And finally, they... They look really bored. Became the best card sharks in the land. <laughs> the okay. End. That was fun. You want to play hide and seek now? We already played that game. Oh dear. <laughs> I really should get going. How do I get to the spring again? It's real easy. Just walk all the way over there and go through the bush. The bush with the flowers all over it. You sure you don't want to play another game? Oh, I wish I could. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Oh, she's visiting with Mrs. Porcupine. She told us to stay here. And to stay in the yard. Okay. Hey, um, kids. Let's just... Up for another game? Yeah! Yeah! Let's play! Hey, okay. I'm gonna just try and tell them the story and see if I story. can't, like, make them Once really excited with the story. Maybe something happens. Hmm. <laughs> there were three little possum kids. <laughs> okay, that gets them excited. One day. The kids decided to go for a walk in the deep, dark forest. When they met... A giant dragon! Who said... Never play an ace when a two will do. So the kids... Played a couple hands of poker. And finally they... Became um. the best card sharks in the land. <laughs> the end. Okay. okay. No, so it's inconsequential. Um, should really get going. I, really okay. get going. I mean, as much as I would love to play hide and seek with these little guys See again. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look I in their mailbox. Mail you should rummage for other people's mail. But that's where all the best stuff you is. You should know better. Oh, clicked out the window, sorry. Oh, there we go. The bush with the flowers. I wonder if we meet Mrs. Possum and um, Mrs. Porcupine. Uh, hello, hello, legs. And, eh. Uh, it's a human, I guess. Oh, okay. And the bone likes humans. You could say that he wants to bone her. Ew. Hello? Don't you don't even afraid. understand what I'm talking down. about. Share the pool. Not a clue. But if it comes out of your mouth, I know it's gross. Most things Hello. that come out of humans is gross. Hm. Cock, that skirt be any shorter. <laughs> um, are 
are you new around here? Words? Bone Bone, what's yours? Pleased to meet you, Bone Bone. My name is Thorn. Thorn? That's kind of cute, the fact that he can't actually talk straight around her. <laughs> That's lovely. Thorn. Uh, <laughs> thanks? Whoa. <laughs> I, uh, I like your brooch. Oh, thanks. My grandma gave it to me. Yeah. Yeah, your grandma. Where have you been? Uh, uh, oh, 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 uh, see my cousin. <laughs> What? Uh, oh, uh, have you seen my cousins? Your cousins are here too? Huh? My cousins are stuck in this valley too, but I haven't seen them since we got hit by that swarm of locusts. You don't say. She sounds engaged. Neither one of them is that. They uh, look kind of like me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone like you around well, here. I know people complain about games where what you select in the speech options isn't what they say, but I love in situations where it makes perfect sense. <laughs> one of my cousins is tall and kind of goofy. The other one is shorter and uh, grouchy. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen them. Stop bothering the lady. They're in this valley somewhere. We'll find them. We will? Uh, okay. Yeah, I... That's uh, you awkward. Seem very kind. Oh, thank you. Ah. It's really weird. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll find them, even though I didn't ask I for you to help me find them. No one's seen them. Not even that dragon. Did you just say dragon? Don't you believe in dragons? No. Should I? Yeah. Hooray! Pretty soon I'll be back in Boneville, and I won't have to worry about dragons or this crazy valley again. Look, I'd like to help you. Well, let's go. But you're making no, no sense. But I don't know a place called Boneville. I've never heard of it. There's a little village down the road called Barrelhaven. Does that help? Oh. I don't belong here. My home is back through the mountains. Maybe my grandmother can help. She's been in the valley longer than almost anyone. She knows a lot about different places. Where can I find your grandma? We live in a farm really pretty close to here. Come on, I'll take you there. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, I'll help you pick up your stuff. What's this? Oh, that's just an old map it's we found a in map. the map. Why are you making that face? I don't know. No. Something about this map Something is to do familiar. with the animators. It reminds me of a dream I used to have. To be fair, this was one of their early yeah, games. Bone bone. Let's so, get back you know. To the and <laughs> right behind they you, were Lord. if I also remember rightly, this was like sold for five dollars back then. This was not a. This was not an expensive game. Wandering around, hungry and helpless. Oh God! Don't tell me you have to control this guy now. Right now, sitting in my house, eating my food. Really? I'm in control of Phony Bone. It's Grumpy from the Seven to War. What? That's just dull. Shut up, stomach. Shut up, stomach. Oh, God. Damn it all. Look, I don't have time for you right now. <laughs> you can so <laughs> tell it's... It's a of his stomach. Yeah, well, I'm fine, funny. You can obviously tell it's a guy going, Gargle. <laughs> Gargle. Oh, cruel, cruel fate. Why have you abandoned your most beloved son? God, I, I didn't love you anyway. Okay, okay, I'll try to find some food. Okay, fine, eat a rock. Rock. Yeah, so it's a big rock. So what? Eat it. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, um, hi. What the heck are you supposed to be? I'm Ted's brother. I'm a big bug. 
You look more like a big bloated leaf. But you seen a guy named Phone Bone around? Who? My cousin, Phone Bone. Never heard of him. Really? Not surprised you haven't heard of Phone Bone. You don't seem to listen very well. Look, you. We don't like troublemakers in our valley, and you're a troublemaker if I ever seen one. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. You're in my way. So? Well, I don't much like your carcass blocking my way. I don't much like your attitude. Mm. What's wrong with you? You got wax in your ears? What did you just say? How dare you apply my ears have wax? <sighs> Where can I get some food? I think there's some apples on the other side of the river. I want those apples. Get out of the way. You should mind your manners. I don't think Steve has any. Eaten for hours. What's your point? He basically scam. Okay. Um, I do kind of know, um, Phony Bones' backstory. Basically, he did a lot of scams, a lot of shady things back in Boneville, and became the richest bone in Boneville. Then, right. then shit went south, and they kicked him out, and of course, him being the petty little shit he is, dragged Phone Bone and Smiley Bone out with him. It's basically his fault that they're all in this situation, and he doesn't want to, well, he refuses to admit it, he doesn't think it's his fault. Right. He believes it's like was well, his destiny to become the richest bone, and everyone's just jealous. This is a waste uh. of time. Over here, you big leaf. Why you? No. Oh. This is a character that doesn't learn, isn't he? Yeah. No bug alive can match my superior intellect. Honestly, I was clicking randomly. Meh. Good thing this log is here so I can cross the river. And not play a silly minigame that took us far, far too long. Yeah. Oh, apple. Apple. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, he ate the entire thing. There's the apple tree. Okay. I like how he has a little angry stomp to his walk. It's kind of funny. <laughs> stomp, 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 stomp. It's like, stomp, stomp. Grr, grr, grr. I'm fueled by rage. <laughs> you, wake up. Everything sucks. The -bone, richest bone in Boneville. You've probably heard of me. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm looking for a guy named Phone Bone. You seen him? <laughs> hey, you awake or what? Have you seen Phone Bone around? Mm -hmm. Fuck off. <laughs> hey, you gonna help me or what? Nope. <laughs> Mister, I would leave him alone if I was you. Well, a new guy to talk to. Hey there, mister. Maybe you better let me help you. Maybe I better. It could be days before the message reaches this guy's brain. How about we steps out of firing range and I'll answer your questions for you? <laughs> Meh. And who are you? I'm Ted. I'm a bug. Spare me the details. Oh, uh, fuck! I'm looking for a guy named Phone Bone. You seen him? Bone? Oh yeah, I've seen him. You have? I'm saved. Where is he? Don't know. Could be. He's at the farm by now. Take me to Phone uh. Bone at once. Well, I don't know he's there for sure, but uh, we can ask Grandma Ben. Okay, fine. Let's get a move on. You ready to go now, mister? Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, okay. Let's get out of here. I 
Just to warn you, Grandma Ben's a <laughs> old lady. She might not take to your attitude much. Don't worry about me, Pug. There ain't a woman alive who can resist my charms. Mm. Okie dokie. Uh, this is gonna be hilarious. Okay. Hey, Pug! Where'd he go? Oh, well, since we played as Bone last time, we know roughly where we need to go. Uh -huh. Aww. They don't have any proper roads around this place. The possum kids are gone. No. <laughs> the cuteness. That's what he needed to brighten up his life. Oh, there they are. Yay! I don't have time for autographs, kids. I'm in a hurry. Sorry, mister. We thought you were someone else. We someone more fun. Bone bone. I don't look anything like Phone Bone. <laughs> Meh. Wait a minute. Did you say you know Phone Bone? Yeah. Phone Bone's my cousin. His cousin? All right. We like Phone Bone. He plays hide and seek with us. Yeah, he would. Aw, they're adorable. Yeah, he would. <laughs> if I give you kids a dollar, will you tell me where Phone went? What's a dollar? You're kidding. No, really. You're what kidding. is it? Oh, never mind. I think I feel ill. My Man, capitalism. You don't know what money is. My capitalism powers have no meaning here. Come on, exactly. Where phone went. <laughs> Not till he plays a game with us. Let's play hide and seek. Uh -huh. <sighs> Fine, let's make oh, it quick. Brother. Fine, let's make it quick. Yeah, he's gonna play with us. You hide, and we'll find you. Go hide. Come on. Oh, okay. Ready, regret this. Shoes on the other One. foot. <laughs> Tell us hot or cold. Ah. Warm. 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 Not cold. Where is he? Warm. Warm. I'm behind the big rock. Sure you are. Uh, let's say hot. You're red hot. I don't see him. <laughs> Me neither. Really? Hey, I Warm. see. Warm. There, there we go. Hey. <laughs> Tell us hot or cold. Wait, now I have to leave both. Really? Them? Um, cold. Cold. Real okay. Oh, hi. Warm. I'm right here, you dumb kids. <laughs> Cold. Where are you, Mr. Bone? Uh, uh, don't they see the warm. sibling Jeez, over there knowing where he it. is? Cold. Oh, I see. Cold makes them move Cold. backwards. Warm. Warm. I'm behind those rocks by the river. Cold. You're not too good at this game. That's weird. Okay. Now cold. Cold. Maybe he needs more practice. <sighs> Let's see what Hot does. You're red hot. Where is he? Oh, I see. Okay, red hot makes him spin round. Hot. Ah, oh, good. Okay. Cold. Cold. Look behind the big rock already. Where do you think he really is? You're red hot. Okay. You're red hot. Where are you, Mr. Bone? Mr. Bone. You're red hot. Gee, I wish we could find him. Okay, let's just go cold again. Cold. Warm? Warm. You're not too good at this game. Over mm. here, slug brains. Okay. Hot. You're red hot. Cold. Cold. Maybe he needs more practice. Oh, come on. You're red hot. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> Okay, right. that one's gone there. 
Right, so now I have to only control this one, okay. You're red hot. I'm right here, you dumb kids. You're red hot. And cold. Cold. There we go. Look, I don't have time for you right now. <sighs> okay, go close your eyes and count to ten. What? Uh, I, I, I now. Have... <laughs> it's like. Grrr. Her grumpy, grumpy, grump, grump. Wait, what? So, what have I meant to do? I don't know, count. They can't see what phone's up to. Why waste time looking? You can just easily wander off. Um. Aww, but, 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 I, I could play with the cute possums. Right, yeah, so they. But this guy is a bit of a nugget. But he wouldn't, like, he could lighten up a bit. Well, obviously, that's not in his character to lighten hey, up. There you are. You have to try and keep <sighs> up. I'm going to bet Smiley Bone's going to go through there and the kids are going to be crying. Aww. Why don't you slow down? Sorry, mister. I'll try to slow down for you. Ready to go? Sorry, just need to check something. Yeah, let's get going. Follow me. Time, buddies. Well, hello, Ted, dear. Who's your friend? This here fella been asking to meet you. Oh, That's... he looks like such a nice young man. What is it you wanted, but dear? It's a human. Yeah. What, are you saying that his grandma can't be a human? You got any food around I'm this place? I'm expecting a grandma oh. bug. Are you hungry, oh, dear? Hey. Well, I assumed it was human because Thorn was going on about her grandma. No. I'm starving. You think I just walk around asking people for food for no reason? Well, I might be able to find you something to eat at the house. If you're willing to work for your supper. I am Bunsible P. Bone, the richest bone in Boneville. I don't have to work for anything. You poor thing. Wow. You must be far from home. Cut the chit chat, Bram. You got any food or not? Well, that's about enough of that. Ted, dear, I think you'd better leave. I'm gonna tear this little fella apart from the inside out. Yes, ma'am. See you around, pal. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> fair enough. Bye. He finds the ship to sign up with, right? And he hears about this mysterious captain, but right. Boom, boom. Save me. That crazy old lady tried to kill me. Well, bless my buttons. What have we got here? Hello, ma'am. They're called bones, Grandma. Sorry, dear, you can't keep them. But... No Ma buts. I don't want any pets running around the house. Grandma, they're but... not pets. Can you milk them? If you can't milk them, but... they're pets. That's it. I'm out of Okay, here. Grandma uh -huh. has a weird view of the world. Phony. Uh -huh. You hear that, Chatstream? If I can't milk you, you're a pet. Huh? You're the pet. Well, I, I, I can't exactly argue with that. You did kidnap me. You keep me against my will. You feed me. You water me every day. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm a good, good girl. Where's Smiley? Smiley? I thought he was with you. You haven't seen him since we split up? The last time I saw that chowder head, he was saying how cool it was that we were about to be pulverized by insects. <sighs> Gee, I hope Smiley's okay. <sighs> Gee, I hope Smiley's okay. He's the character I can tolerate. Man. No one thinks Grandma Ben can help us get back to Boneville. Help! Help! They destroyed my cousin's brain! Oh my god, they've already milked you, haven't they? Look, do you think you can behave for just a couple of days? 
Okay, okay, I'll be good. But if we wind up chopped to bits and buried in the woodshed, don't come crying to me. <clears throat> you promise you aren't gonna get us in trouble? Jeez, you wanted it writing? You have a piece of paper? Oh, quit your whining. Why don't you introduce me to your good-looking friend? Phony, this is Thorn. Thorn, Phony. Oh, what have you been doing with my cousin? You two got a little thing going on or what? Phony! No, huh? Figures. What'd you do, bore to death talking about Moby Dick? Well, you boys Meh. can stay if you want, but you'll have to sleep in the barn and do a few chores before dinner. We come from a place called Boneville, ma'am. Thorn says you might be able to help us get back. Well, I never heard of a place called Boneville. But the Spring Fair's coming up in Barrel Haven, and folks come from all over for that. Maybe someone there can help you. Yeah. How do we get to Barrel Haven? It's yeah. not so far. Maybe I'm they could get cotton candy. Tomorrow. If you and your cousin are up to a few chores, you can eat and sleep here tonight, and we'll all go into town together. Thanks, ma'am. We're happy Yay! to help. All right, then. Phony Bone, you go to the hot springs and pull up a few turnips for dinner, then go up to the apple tree at the top of the waterfall and bring back a couple of apples. There's a path next to the house that's a shortcut up there. Phone Bone, you and Thorn can finish washing the potatoes, split a log for the fire, and bring two buckets of water to the porch. Hold on. Why do I have to go back to the stupid forest and phone gets to stay here at the farm? You want to eat tonight? Yeah, yeah. Meh. All right, kids. Get cracking. Because we don't like you around. Okay, let's get that let's wood. Let's get that wood. Okay, I'll chop the wood and you can finish with the potatoes. What? Where I come from, what you just said is backwards. Chopping firewood is a manly thing. And since I'm the man... I'll do the manly thing. Okay. Wow, sex as much? Hey, to be fair, he's from a different era. <laughs> Somewhat. I guess this is the log I should split. Okay, let's grab the axe. What kind of manly thing is that? Chin ups, wash the potatoes. Hey, Bo, what you doing? I need to split firewood, but this axe is stuck. Oh yeah, you want some help? Uh, sure, Ted. Okie doke, Bo. I think I got some friends can help you out. Go for it, boys. Termites? Oh. Don't mention it, Bo. I'm gonna help. <laughs> but. See you around, Bo. Thanks. <laughs> um, bugger. Uh... Okay, so I'm Bug. willing to bet I need to find something to remake the axe with. Well, there's corn. That's useful. Um, excuse me, <sighs> Grandma Ben. Do you mind if I use one of these corn cobs? I suppose not. Just don't go spoiling your dinner. Yeah, Techie, don't spoil your dinner. On that note, I should really look at getting dinner soon. Let's see, there's a well. Hey, there's a hole in this bucket. There's a hole in my bucket. Actually, do I have. There's a okay. Hole in my bucket. Right, let's see. Hole in my bucket! Okay, fine. Not a bad idea, but this corn cob is just a bit too big. I really don't like the fact that the hints aren't really that useful. So eventually it's like, oh yeah, you just do this. It's like, do this. Doesn't work. You have to fix it. It's like, okay. No! Never fix that. Never, never, never. So what? Can't. It didn't have the kernels on it. It might be the perfect size. Okay, then how do I shear a corn cob? 
Well, that's the. I guess this is the log I should split. <laughs> I wonder, can I just use the axe head with my bit? Of course now not. What <laughs> am I gonna do? <laughs> okay. Grab the corn cob. No, it's not letting me grab the corn cob. No, no. Oh, okay. That was a. Oh! Okay, use it as a wedge. Okay, fair enough. Yay! Well, now that I've split the wood, um, and I can't pick those things up, there has to be now something I interact with that would shear the corn cobs. Hmm. Yeah. Um, excuse me, Grandma Ben? What is it, Phone Phone? Pony and I are looking for our third cousin, ma'am. You wouldn't have happened to have seen him. Can't say that I have. But if he's anywhere in the valley, he'll likely show up at the Spring Fair in Barrel Haven. What's the Spring Fair? It's the big event round here every year. Folks come from all over the valley for it. Finished with the wood. I need more clean water. Okay, kids. Go get the water then. No problem. Okay. okay, maybe you can change that. Hold on, bucket bigger. Uh, the pesky kernels. Wait. There you are. Do me a favor. Don't mention your friend the dragon to Grandma. Why not? We don't have big mouth drooling rat like monsters either. <laughs> Bone Bone, we've been over this a hundred times. Have we? Say, Bone Bone, uh, I was wondering, how come you and your cousins left Boneville in the first place? Reasons? Well, Phony was sort of run out of town. Smiley and I helped him escape. What did he do? What didn't he do? He <laughs> decided he was going to run for mayor. They chased him out for running for mayor? Well, they literally thought he was running for mayor. Anyone what? can run for mayor in Boneville. Don't worry. Even Phony. He wanted to make the official announcement a big social event, so he decided to throw a picnic. Go on. Phony had his picnic on the banks of the Rolling Bone River. It's really beautiful there, and with enough space for everyone in the whole town, which is good, because they all came out for it. Sounds like Phony's really popular in Boneville. Phony isn't that popular, but he promised everyone free food, and it was a beautiful day. He had the firehouse band play, and there were plenty of prune tarts for everyone. Prune tarts? You know Phony. He got a good deal on some prunes from a discount prune broker. Of course. Of course. Anyway, there's a statue in the park of Boneville's founder, Big Johnson Bone. Phony wanted to make his announcement in front of the statue, and he had this giant 50-foot balloon made of himself and tied it to old Big Johnson. Gee. So um... everything is going great, right? And then he stands up and announces his candidacy for mayor of Boneville. <clears throat> and just then... Go on. What happened? A gust of wind came off the river and pulled the balloon loose. The statue came off its base and was dangling off the balloon's ankle. This giant inflatable phony bone started moving toward the crowd. Oh my. Oh, oh boy. It was amazing. Miss Crabbone was the first to panic. She started screaming and the balloon chased her into the river before Smiley and I could let the air out of her. At first, everyone was just stunned with this look of horror on their faces. Is that when they ran him out of town? That's when the bad prunes kicked in. Oh uh, boy. Yeah. Huh? Well, you know what prunes are used for, right? Um, eating? Prunes have a natural, uh, I want to say laxative effect, but it's more that they're, 
they're very high in certain things that make it easier for humans to, well, um, go to the bathroom easier. Okay. Basically, foam bone fed everyone laxatives. Oh dear. Yeah, well, prunes. That turned out to be really bad prunes. Oh dear, dear. At which point, probably meant that they were actually really good prunes, really good at their job. And that's yeah. after destroying the statue of the man. Oh, yeah. A anyway. and a cigarette and big old hairy ears. You were just seeing things. Dragons are make-believe. You know, that's what he wants you to think. He doesn't want you to know he exists. Stop. Actually, <laughs> I just want her to think you're nuts. What the? Hey, dragon. Where did the... Go, go. Thorn, come quick! A dragon! What is it? There she is. Oh, never mind. Okay. Dragon! <sighs> Stupid girl! Dragon! Are you following me around? Why would I do that? I don't know, maybe That's have a clash. Ever think maybe it's you who's following me around? Seriously, why are you following me around? You need my help. You know how to find me. I have cushion. Can you help me out? Sit what do you need? Can you breathe fire on this corn cob? You sure you want me to? Well, Please just breathe fire on the corn cob. Oh yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thanks. Well, then maybe next time you should laugh. Ha ha. Hey, wow, dragon. so convincing. Yeah, what is it? Can you help me out? What do you need? Okay, let's ask the dragon for girl advice. Can you tell me how to make Thorn like me more? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm the best person to give romantic advice. You must have some idea about how I can make Thorn like me. Well, there's all the usual mumbo jumbo, flowers, chocolates, or you can just try being yourself. Being myself. You don't know that much about girls, do you? I know what I know. Don't work so much. I can't help if I like what I like. Never mind. <laughs> wait, 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 I don't think nudge. I need any help after all. You know where to find me. Okay then. And we stick the thing in there and perfect fit. There we go. Then we use the bucket on the well. Which seems oddly enough full of dragon anyway. <laughs> um, excuse me, Grandma Ben. What is it, phone phone? Here's your water. Water, ma'am. All right then, phone phone. Why don't you wait in the house till your cousin gets back? And now we play as phony bone. I should Yay. get the stuff that crazy woman wants before I go back. Oh, I was hoping there'd be an option for him just to go back and go. I go find it. Meh. And then he gets beaten up and just told, yeah, yes. Okay, what did we need to do? Ah, uh, fine. Gets put in the naughty corner. Turnips, but they can't be found on their own? Oh, is this a hot spring? I miss my hot tub. He has a hot tub? Well, he was the richest bone. It probably was swimming pool sized. So this must be some sort of hot spring, okay. <laughs> okay, hot springs, more help. Look around for something that will help. I'm making mud pies, wouldn't that shovel come in handy? They went high as soon.
Ah, okay, there we go. Right. Hey, kids. Hey, guys. It's Phonebone's cousin again. Oh, no. Just ignore him. Meh. Say, that's uh -huh, a nifty spade that. you guys got there. Uh, thanks? It's our mom's shovel, and you can't have it. Oh, come on. Can't I just borrow your spade? It's not ours. It's our mom's. So you can't borrow it. Oh, but, but, but. Yeah, that's what you get for being a nasty big play grouch. A game or something? We don't want to play with you. Mr. Grouchy yeah. Pants. You cheat. Yeah, cheater. Meanie Bobini. Don't you want to play dead with your Uncle Phony? I don't feel like playing dead. We don't want to play with you. And you're not our uncle. Yeah. What's wrong with you, kid? Don't you like to play games? Not with you, we don't. Nah. How about if How about I tell, if you, I a tell you a story? Well, we don't want a story mm. either. We can't cheat at telling stories. What kind of story? <laughs> you kids are over 18, right? Okay, here's a good story for you. It's a story about something really exciting that happened in Boneville, where I come from. Well, maybe I'll hear just a little bit of the story. Oh, brother. I'll bet it's a dumb story. Okay, uh, once upon a time, there was... A very clever bone, full of great ideas. Was that Phone Bone? No, it wasn't Phone Bone. It was me. Oh. <laughs> We'd like it better if it was phone bone, not you. Boo! Indeed. Haram! One day, this bone came up with the most amazing idea he'd ever had. He decided the best way to make the other bones like him was to run for mayor. So we had a huge picnic with yummy prune tarts and music and games and invited everyone in town. Ooh, sounds like fun. Everything was going great until... <laughs> By a cruel twist of fate, the giant 50-foot balloon the boat had made of himself broke free and started chasing all the townspeople. So this giant balloon came at the people. There was nowhere for him to run. It leaned down on him and... Oh. Joink. <laughs> Superior intellect wins again. But you can see what I mean. He does not actually consider the whole thing his fault. It was other people yeah. who did it. Not him. Grump, grump, grump. Okay, well, I don't even know what a turnip looks like, so... Oh, I see, okay. There's these mounds, but you go, you can't pull them out. They're stuck in the ground. So let's use a shovel to dig them out. Oh, frick's sake. Shovel, dig. Yeah. Thought you were safe and snug in your little dirt home, didn't you? Well, you're mine, Turnip! Mine! <laughs> Should really get the Bone comics. Like, I really do actually like these characters. They're interesting. Yeah, okay. Good. Fine. Uh-huh. More help. Yeah, phony's reach. Ah, uh, give you a boost. Let me guess. Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to piss off a big bug again. Yeah, pie. Oh, oh look, he has a band-aid on his head. Oh, boo! Meanie bone yeah, did that. you're the smart one. You shake your brains loose on that rock. <gasps> boo! No one likes you. You suck. Hmm. 
Hmm. That wasn't enough. Okay. Huh. And sand near the tree. Okay. Well, that didn't work. It's you again. Nah, your mother was an aphid. What's that? Right, you... Aphid, type of small bug. Ah. That's not working. Okay, like, what else could I do? There's the apple tree. Yeah, there's the apple tree. I get it. Okay. Like, it's, it's yeah, obvious. Yeah. It's obvious, you know? Get the guy to hit the tree it's to knock things again. out. Cool your jets, pal. I need your help. <laughs> Why should I help you? Because I'm too short to reach the apple. Don't bother me with your problems, bud. Look, I'll give you five bucks if you help me out. What is that? Can you eat it? What? No! What is wrong with this stupid <laughs> alley? Have you never heard of capitalism? Why Meh. you? Why you? Like, do you have to just keep doing it? Oh. It's you, you must be me. Hmm. What's the matter? Your head still hurt from last time? You don't know the yeah. meaning of hurt yet, mister. Bring it, buddy! Why, you? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's like... Am I missing something? Like, was I meant to use the shovel on the tree? This is a waste of time. That is not going to help anyone. Okay, I'm going to check through the hints again, okay? Go find the apple tree, walk left, insult him, and click the apples to stand near the tree. Okay. That's what I did. It's you again. Miss me, you mutant. I mean, unless I actually have to click on the apples themselves. Oh. Stupid bug. Okay. So we were meant to actually get hit by the bug. Here's your stupid produce. Alright then. Eat up, kids. Big day tomorrow. The spring fair. I can't wait. Um, awkward. Okay, I guess I could just talk to people. Oh, right, I can, okay. Everything sure smells great, Thorn. Why, thanks, Phone Phone. Dig in. Do you go to the fair every year? Oh, yes. We never miss it. And I'm we actually really hungry fun. now. It's like, er. All over the valley, every Me year. People come from all over for the fair? Absolutely. They come from all over to buy things from the booths and bet on the cow race. Bet on the what? Cow race! Cow race? What's this cow race? Farmers enter cows from all over the valley to race against Grandma. Some people bet everything they have on the race. What? Uh, how fast does a cow run, anyway? Not as fast as Grandma. Now, dear. Huh? Okay, um... You race against the cows, ma'am? Sure do. The villagers love it, and it's good for keeping these old bones working. Okay... You must be pretty fast to race against those cows. <laughs> well, I just do my best and try and have a good time. I'm oh, confused, ha -ha. but... Uh... There's hardly a cow in the valley that can beat Grandma on the 100-yard dash. How many cows are usually in this race, anyhow? Oh, usually about a dozen or so. Uh-huh. Hmm. 
This is weird. Betting? Hey, Bony, you know how much Smiley likes to bet on races. Hold on. You mean people actually bet on these races? Yeah, lots of people come, specifically to bet on the races. They do, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Ching! What are you thinking, Phony? Hmm, what me? Uh, nothing. These are awfully good terms. Money! Hmm. I sure hope we can find Smiley at the fair. Oh, going through all the dialogue options. I'm surprised it's taken this long to find that chucklehead. Don't worry, Phone. If he's in the valley, I'm sure he'll show up at the fair. That's fair. <laughs> I see what you did you there. Know, so yeah. you keep reminding me. Don't worry, Phone. I'm sure we'll find him. What's he like? You sure you want to know? You'd probably like him, Thorn. He's a good guy. Easy for you to say. That guy exists just to make me miserable. Do you like it here? Wouldn't it be more exciting to live in the town? Oh no, I like it here. Besides, who'd take care of Grandma? I can think of a couple of pit bulls I could get for the job. We didn't grow up on a farm, so it's kind of new to us. Boneville sure beats the heck out of this place. Oh, it's not so bad. <laughs> oh, brother. Aren't you going to eat, Phone? Oh, um, yeah. Okay, um... I guess yawn is just our way of just ending the conversation, then. <laughs> well, big day tomorrow. Let's cut the chit chat and everyone get some shut Ugh, up. I know the feeling. Yeah, let's go to bed. Yeah. You boys can sleep in the house. Just make sure to keep it down down here. Good night, Phony. Good night, Phone Bone. Oh. Get up before I crush your heads. What the fuck? Sire, what are you doing here? May I kiss your feet? I wish I had some quiche I could offer you. Quiet! I've had scouts ah! out looking for you. God God sakes. You have? How far? I have the biggest animal eyes. What? You two ah! are starting to make me look bad. The hooded one has oh. summoned you both to a high um, council yeah. tonight. The hooded one? Has something happened? He has received word that the one we seek. The smoke has been seen in the valley. He has? Mr. Big Head! He but... was last seen in your territory. Come with me. I wish to eat Dumb both head. of you. Ah! No, no. Oh. Okay. Uh, what a scary looking person. It's a little girl, and that's the dragon mim, and a... The rat creatures have surrounded the farm. Hurry! Grandma, what's going oh, on? Oh, it was her when Where she was younger. They? Why didn't I the house. get that connection? <laughs> uh, I said Where's it's an early me? Telltale game. They I don't know. He was gone when I woke didn't up. really find their style yeah, until like. Off. Do you have a plan, Grandma? I have an idea that might. You know, work. Wolf Among Us okay, and that. Children, this is what we're going to no. do. When I say run, you run. Got that? What? That's your plan? Run where? Be sure you split up and don't let him catch you. I'll hold them all. Okay, kids, run! There's a back door. Come on. Don't worry about me. I fought the rats back in the big war. Hmm. It's good to know she can look after Hi, herself. Oh, God. One of these games. Mm -hmm. 
Ah! Nope! Nope, nope. Ah, damn it. Ah, it's so hard to actually control in this one. Just keep running. Uh huh. You say run. Run. That's that awesome song from Hero Academia. And ah, uh, hey, I didn't. I can't remember what that was. Ah, uh, dear, it, it's yeah. Anyway, that was actually really annoying. Oh. Okay, if you fail it, you could just say, do you want to skip past it? Yes, I do. Woo! I like this game! Right there. Yay! Right if only we knew that sooner. It's a meeting of the new community leaders. Ooh, a town meeting. If we get to vote, I just love to vote. <laughs> Stay back, worm. Our numbers are too great. We are not afraid Who's of you. we? <laughs> <laughs> Yes! I told you there was a dragon. I told you. Grandma, are you all right? Of course I am, dear. The dragon saved us, Grandma. A real dragon. Look! I can see. Hello, dragon. Hello, folks. It's been a while. Um, yep. Failed marriage. Uh, I'm throwing it out Do there. It. They were married. Come on, Ted. It's like, you can still feel the awkward sexual tension, right? Yep. About? Do you and the dragon know each other? That's none of your beeswax, Bone. Now, come on. Yeah, Boy, I think you're right. Town where it's safe. <laughs> Let's just say he couldn't keep it up on the wedding night. There too. Oh, no. He's Yo, saying that he didn't make it to the marriage. Aww. Look, it's Smiley. Oh, my gosh. Smiley. I'm so about you. Hey, Bony. Bone Bone's here. Hey. Hey, hey. Wait, did we complete the game? Well, there's another bone game called The Cow Race. Okay. Oh, Robert Telltale Games did the whole chapters thing, didn't they? So I'm gonna bet this is like the first chapter. Must be like the first time they messed around with that idea. Act one, Adipa, we've completed it. Yay, we and, did it. And honestly, that was fun. Um, it was all right, yeah. I mean, to be fair, a lot of the later Telltale games, like a lot of people go, the endings are always the same. You don't get alternate endings. But what I found is it's not the endings, it's how you get there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, you know, th that off the bat, you know, I'm willing to bet someone in the comments is going to be like, Oh, but Telltale Games, it's always the same. It's like, it doesn't matter. Me and a friend... Me and a friend played the same Telltale game, and we were discussing it, and we realized we actually encountered completely different scenes. It was um, Tales of the Borderlands, and apparently he went one route, I went another, and we encountered completely different scenes, and gave us different appreciations for different parts. Cool. So yeah, but this is one of their early games. I mean, this is a 11 year old game. So yeah, I can't wait to play the next one actually. Yay. I mean, it was a fun little point and click. Yeah, very simple. That's the other thing about Telltale games. They're meant to be very easy to play. They're not mm. complicated. You don't have to do moon logic. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, Jared Emerson Johnson did the music. Okay. He's the one that did the music for the Sam and Max games. Ah, goodness. Yeah. Okay, with the Telltale tool. Nice. Actually, I wonder if the Telltale tool is like some, like, that they have a version you could like, I don't know, buy and mess around with. Like, actually 
make your own Telltale game. Oh, that'd be so cool. Well, I suppose you could use Unity Engine to do it. Oh, Phony Bone and Ted is the same voice. Okay. Huh. Red Dragon, Ted's big brother, King Gunnam. Yep. This was nice. And Fernburn was played by Del David Nolan, who sounds like someone I should know. Special thanks. I'm and not very good at remembering names. Same, actually. But because I was know. trying to remember this one bug, Decepticon, and I just can't put my finger on it. What, not one of the Insecticons? No. Huh. Well, at least I don't think he's an Insecticon, but I honestly don't know. Yeah, he was a grasshopper. I'm... I liked him. I'm sure you'll work it... You'll, you'll remember eventually, Boat Stream. Excuse me. <sighs> Sir and Lady Rat. Okay. Mm. That turn. That, that was the game. Yay! Right, well guys, that's been Bone, and well, I was actually expecting us to maybe abandon this game and play something else, but we ended up playing it through to the end, so... Woo! We yeah. liked it, we'll play the next one next time. Yeah, um, these games are like, I think like $2 each on um, Steam, so really... They're a fun little game, and the Bone comics are interesting in their own right. So, anyway. Yeah. Jess Dream, you want to say your closing line? <laughs> yeah. Remember to, um, uh, um, how did it go again? Uh, like and subscribe for more content. And remember, if I control the web, I control the world. And transmission.